All right, so we did took care of that. And our next priority will be to deal with whatever is going on with the Primarch's son and his uh, lost Turian pl platoon. That's right. You guys have the most interesting conversations. You've got new messages, Commander. Do I? Let's see what that's about. No subject. From Grunt. <laughs> that's a good fight, Shupard. You can't hear him, but I've got goat our lack company chanting Shepherd. Shepherd. Your name, you know. As we down some wrinkle to heal my wounds. Wrinkle. Where are you? Shepherd. Shepard. Shepherd. Ah, grunt. I'm glad he's able to celebrate with his teammates. Who are still alive because we did not attempt to save the Rachnite Queen. Alright. Um, next. Moving right along. So, that down vessel needs investigating. Let's get ourselves over to it ASAP. We'll bring Garrus again. It makes sense since, you know, he's Turian. And he'll be able to let us know what's going on with these guys. And we'll bring Liara for some variety. I mean, the problem is it just works really well. Hmm. Anyway, we'll stay with it for now. I'm going to keep going through this, like, moment of... I don't know how to, how to describe it, just like... Consideration. A moment of consideration about what my weapon loadout should be. The ideal weapon loadout. No, I don't want to change view. I want this thing. Alright. I mean, we could change it up. It's possible, but I think... I think we'll stay with it for just a little bit longer. Potentially. Liara, we haven't leveled up in a while. Uh, she has a bunch of stuff here, obviously, that's quite good. Power of force and duration. Recharge speed of all biotic powers. Recharge speed of Liara's singularity. Why is singularity such a big deal? It already has a pretty good recharge speed, to I'm honest. Um, I think leveling up warp makes the most sense, to be honest. We've already got the combo. This is really good, actually. And this is a recharge speed that I would not mind. I would not mind. There we go. Perfect. Let's go. This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, sir. For Turian, Commander, what happened here is, let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. What do you mean? And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. Dude, everybody's it's getting promoted without merit. The Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. Maybe. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Ah, uh, Tachanka. Such beautiful vistas. Such an inviting atmosphere. Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper Harvester. 
Harvesters. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. And there he is. Got it. I guess he just had it in his hand. My men are dying. Yeah, yeah. This sounds bad. Let's move. First, let's take a moment to apply the appropriate ammunition powers. Let's go. As if I remember correctly, there's a lot of goodies on the way here that we'll need to pick up. A secretarian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? Nothing has come up through any of my networks. Well, that's not reassuring. One presumes your network is quite extensive, we are. Quick. We don't want them to call for backup. Call for backup? What do you mean? They're husks. I thought we were well. Spare parts. I'm not sure husks can, can call for anything. Escape pod. Our first casualties. Looks like they survived the crash, but then a harvester took them out. Died in the explosion? Painful. And then pulled out to be eaten by husks. Damn, dude. Husks eat people? A tempest. We'll continue without it for now. The hurricane is basically a better tempest. Yes, okay. you heard it, did you? I have a visual on the enemy. Ooh, we have the old There's Mass Effect 1 music here. Beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on They will soon. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. Uh, how can we best use this surprise? Acknowledge. Understood. Got it. What's on this side? Okay, these two guys. You two guys float. And then, we are recharge, 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 yep, explode. There we go, and then you are just dead. Another cannibal? Here, just burn. Oh, who are you shooting at? Oh, there's another one. How many of these guys are there? Okay. Let's set up for an incoming harvester. Actually, can you two set up here and here? And I will set up here. Now, we're going to need right away... Garrus, you can't do much of this thing. I mean, you might as well attack it, but it won't make a difference. This is going to be what's going to be helpful. That harvester is going to destroy the Korean escape pod. Not if we can blow it up first. Right away. There we go. That was worth uh, blowing all my ammo. Don't stop for us. We'll head for the main crash site. All right, dude. Pod ahead. All right, we'll we'll get to it. Did I? Excellent work. Indeed, that is the benefit of this rifle. If if I need to work through a mountain of HP, it does it very very efficiently. So I would like to have like the particle rifle and a maybe a lightweight sniper rifle or something because I'm not really getting much use out of the right and you know all about that don't you Liara given your particular parentage matriarch Venezia ooh a Faston. Would be a, a decent rifle, except we have better stuff. But yeah, I'm not really using the Hurricane for anything, so I'm kind of not sure that I should keep carrying it, if I'm honest. Sounds like it's fighting up ahead. Let's not waste any time. Looks like we got the jump. Follow my lead. My lead is attack them as quickly as possible. And enjoy the music while you're doing it. Alright. Ooh, another one of these dudes. 
Let's go in the same game plan as before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we get it? Oh, shit. He must have uh, dropped off some dudes. Because he did shoot like a meteor at me, and I, I thought it was an attack. But it must have been a troop drop off that I just ignored. Yep. We're good like that. Uh, yes, that way, but, but first, just checking in case of loot. Can't afford to pass up loot, you know. But yeah, I, I guess uh, Garrison Liara took care of them for a little bit. Shepard here. What's your status? A chest plate. A Hainkater chest plate. That looks good. Barnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Pay for what? Live what down? When we find him, we'll ask. I have no idea what's going on, like what mistake or terrible decision did he make exactly. Alright, you two over there, and me over here. No, not that. I didn't mean to jump over it. What is this? Junk? That corpse was junk? How rude. I thought I saw a bad guy. Here. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I see that. I see that quite clearly. Wow, this guy's got like super Ravager attacks. What can we do here exactly? I'd like to... Deal with these little guys first. And then turn my attention to the Harvey. Liara, can you hit him with something? Harvest, this weapon has a limited range, so I'm not sure if I was actually hitting him in that instance. He repositioned though, so we'll still get a chance to finish him off, and he's he's near death. Why don't you two get set up right there? Whoa, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get my health back here and my shields. Did we get that harvester? It it's important we don't lose this squad. It seems that the Turians are playing with political dynamite here. Maybe they should inform the Krogan. Krogan Turian animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. And I need them to work um, together, so let's not complicate things. I'm not sure inborn is right. It seems to be the result of centuries or even millennia of really contentious history. Level up. What do we got here? Eight points. Fantastic. Uh, what did we want to work on? Combat mastery, right? So, do we increase our squad mates' damage? Or do we increase our own headshots? Um, hmm. The thing with headshots is we're not getting many right now, but we might get more later. In the sense that I mean, I might go to a different weapon and set up later, besides this particle beam. Squad way, squad mate weapons damage by 20% isn't bad. It's reliable damage, you know? It's reliable damage. I guess we'll do this. I guess. And, and as much as I would like this, I cannot deny that this is pretty big damage right here. Especially the ammo powers. I'd really like that, so that I could carry heavier stuff as well. I could maybe be able to carry a sniper rifle and the particle beam. But we're going to go with this on our next uh, level. Now, Garrus, you're still waiting for some of these. That's fine. 
what we can do, Garrus, is get you a quicker recharge on that, which is going to be helpful. And Liara, you can't upgrade anything, so that's fine. Let's resume. Oh, Lieutenant Victus, he's right over there. Got a sniper rifle barrel here. Several drops. This looks like an arena. And since it looks like an arena, let's set up our friends right away. All right, let's move. Now, one more soldier dive in. Oh, wow. They can just drop in on me. This guy, how dare you. Oh, hello, friend. Can we get a warp on him right away? Thank you. That was a really unfortunate grenade toss for me. It actually would seem to go too far, but there might be guys. Actually, this position is really exposed. Let me go back here. That position is really exposed because that person dropped in there. We'll use our friend's powers for the time being. Liara is back. He's dead. You're about to be dead. More drops. Another really unfortunate grenade drop. Where is he? He's dead? There he is, now he's dead. Man, there's a lot of these guys. Stasis that guy, I guess, for now. In this game, stasis dudes can take damage, apparently. That wasn't the case before. Harvester, you say? I mean, I assume they were the ones dropping off all these dudes, right? Where is the harvester? There it is. Can we get... Uh, why did you interrupt my burn? There we go. We got him. And I was fortunate that we found an angle so that we didn't have to expose ourselves to return fire from the harvester. Could use more grenades, there's a couple there. I didn't even think about it, but I should have. Alright, what's going on here? Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard. You're wearing Nihilus' armor. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. Really? These men are dead because of him. What happened to Turian, Turian military down. discipline? Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. This scene is so weird. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Seriously. I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And... My men paid the price. Uh, okay. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. I mean, you made a bad tactical call, apparently. But then, what was your alternative? 
According to you, it was guaranteed heavy casualties. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're a bad mission. Uh, no. We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. You got me on your side what now. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. One bomb? bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Why? Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. I mean, Shepard is used to bombs. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. What kind of an officer are you? How? Honestly, like, this is one of the weirdest, like, dialogue sequences that I've experienced in this game. Like, it's just... Uh, it all seems so contrived. Even the bit about, like, a bomb. Remind them it's like the the writer sat no down in a room and said, "What could be bad enough to bring the Turians to this planet? What if there's like a bomb Man, on the planet?" And then nobody thought to make it like to dress it up a little bit, like no, a nuclear no, device or something, right? It's over. It's like no, it's just we a bomb. We will not let they didn't even bother like writing it up so that it's just a little bit. Our sacrifice is the I don't know. It's, so it sounds more serious. For this entire galaxy, let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon. Be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Also, the, any notion of... Like, the Turians seem ridiculously harsh. Commander? Like, what? Has no Turian commander ever made a wrong we're decision? We, were. we could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Vickers, I mean... You have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. They could have wrote it differently where he didn't have to do this. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going yeah, the on? Turian there? bomb. And what apparently. do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. You, you could have known more if you'd ask more. Not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. The obvious we course of action. Military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Like, they could have made it so that he. Primarch Victus. He was just choosing to be I'm flashy with his tactics. I'm grateful that. And that's why they're why mad at him. Tell me about the Cerberus bomb. It's not a Cerberus bomb. It's a Turian bomb. Why hide that? What else are you keeping I think, from me? I mean, I know. I have nothing for you. For our alliance to from work, previous playthroughs. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. You're the boss. And, you can make the call. And... And that's all. Wait. There is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. If I talk to him again, can I make him come clean? I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> you didn't wake up. I told him yes, while he was in the middle of a battle. Thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories. They're what you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? No, we've talked about all these. That's all. Of course, Commander. All right. So we're going to call the stream right there. And uh, it's been a pretty good pretty good 3-hour run here. Seems like a comfortable stopping point. 
Shadow Broker Wet Squad, Krogan First Division. All right. Uh, seems like a good uh, stopping point. Thanks for hanging out. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, next time we will continue our work on Tachanka. We're going to investigate what's going on with this bomb. And then we're going to make sure to get this genophage cure distributed. Uh, until then, stay safe and catch you next time.